Hello lovely people, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since I have made a new- ah! <laughs> What the? No way! There's just- <laughs> Oh my god, there's literally- <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. Welcome back. Holy hell. Um, yeah, welcome back to the series. It has been a while. Welcome. I messed up and we lost an episode, all right? I spent too much time not editing it. <laughs> and I think I accidentally deleted some recording files. So if anything is new, feel free to ask me about it in the comments. But this is what the world looks like right now. Oh, girly. Come here, come here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. I have done this. You won't be seeing it. <laughs> but it's basically a very simple little storage room. It's not that little, but it's also not gigantic, you know? So I think this is a perfect size for someone that doesn't really accomplish much, like me. <laughs> I have been saying for like ages that I need to get my stuff enchanted and since I keep on dying we are not really close to having that happen so I was thinking I use my brain for like a literal second and you can use kelp for like XP farming and since I'm not really sure how to build a mob farm, I mean, I've looked it up, but it looks so complicated. I'm scared I'm gonna die. So, like, maybe that's something for a future project. But for now, you know, a kelp farm seems not too hard to do. Like, not too unreasonable, I guess. Yeah, you just need kelp, and then you dry it into dried kelp, of course, and that gives you XP. I'm gonna go to more memer, okay? And then we're gonna check if this all has some um, kelp for us. Because then we can... Oh, wait, let's sleep first. Then we can get that to... Oh, my shader's broke. Okay. Then we can get that for some simple XP. So we can finally get some XP going. So we can finally be protected. And I can finally do cooler things because I'm less of a scaredy cat. All right? So I want to make sure I have enough food on me. I guess we also need to go look for more coal. Um, it is... A problem but it is gonna be okay also could you guys imagine just think okay imagine there was a sorting mod I mean it, it probably exists but like uh, that you could just like press and it like adds to the stacks like I don't know if anyone plays stardew but like in stardew valley that would be so nice oh my god now I miss something that I've never had can you imagine good morning gamers oh my god Wait, I have to turn all that off. That is disgusting. Thank you. Let's go. I have a boat. Wait, you guys will keep following me. I don't want that. Please, thank you. I'm not going to go by boat. I'm going to travel by waystone. It was more Mimur, I think. It is... That's a lot of points. It's like really a lot of points. Yeah, okay, I'll just do it. I'll just do it. Ugh. Um, let's go um, have a look. See, if nothing around here has kelp, I will be very surprised. I made it. Ow! 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 What? Hello? <laughs> that was mean. Where is it? I guess I'll just go around. What a mean fish. Look how stunning this is. I wish I could just live here, to be honest. Just stay here. No kelp though. So let's keep looking. When I discovered this, I accidentally killed some coral, logs, reef, whatever, because apparently you cannot mine them without having like simple touch, I believe. But I do want to check if you can get like those, like that. You can. Oh, I did already know that, I think. But that's the fun part about ADHD. Everything you discover is, like, new. If the last time you discovered it was months ago. Or weeks ago. Yay! New info. Okay, I'm gonna need to make a boat because... Yeah, this is not having it. 
and I did see over here that could literally be big ocean but I want to do this by boat and not on foot because that would be well undoable so this tree is gonna have to go thank you so much for your service thank you thank you craft that and then boat I'll take it with me you never know it might be handy and it's over there but then completely completely past it so I have to go way further than those 700 blocks it is turning to nighttime soon but it's okay we're on the ocean I love Mesa so much that is the most beautiful biome ever oh my god I thought I was gonna have to travel so far but it's right here at the edge of this coral reef thing so let's grab it I think I want to get like a stacker for it is that too much? Is that too much to ask? I love collecting things. La, la, la. This is fun. This is fun. I don't know if this will be like enough, but I'm kind of tired of collecting kelp. I'm a little bit bored. <laughs> so let's just go home and see what this gets us XP wise. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh! <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to do. What if we try to go kill it? Uh, apparently that's very hard. Can I shoot it? Ah! Okay, never mind. Bye. Oh my god, really? Look at this mining fatigue. How many minutes? Still a minute and 20 seconds left. This sucks. But yeah, let's go there and see how many points it costs us to teleport home. Moment of truth. Um, no, three. Okay, I might just make the travel. Like, the whole point was getting points, not wasting them. So, I mean XP points. So, I'll just do the journey, guys. I got this. That is so pretty. Oh, there we go. That looks stunning. Imagine living there with all those flowers. That's really nice. I mean, I love our home too, don't get me wrong, but that just looks so pretty. All of this looks so pretty. <gasps> with the mountaintops, gorge. Since we needed coal, like, so desperately at home, I should probably get some. Honestly, a dead log looks so pretty when stripped, so yeah, let's just take some. Whoa, that looks so cool. I'm discovering so many cool, like, terrains and such. <gasps> okay, BRB googling how to capture a frog because I want those frog lights so bad. Okay, sad news, you need to feed them slime if you want to breed them so you can get tadpoles because you can take tadpoles with you. Or, you know, use a lead. I don't have any of those two things. So, yeah, that's rather unfortunate. Let's just move on from this. <laughs> what do you have? Okay, I'll just take it. Silk touch, all right. All right. Alright, mighty thank you. This is the teeny tiniest village ever. Oh my god, hello? Can I steal some stuff from you? I mean, I don't really need any of this, but... Thanks. Where are they? Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, Cecile. Infuriated. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, what are your traits? Hello. Trades, I guess. Okay, let me take this home with me. Thank you very, very much. Very kind, you guys. Home is only two more, but oh, it's still too many. I can't afford to do that. Okay, I'll just sleep here and then be on my way in the morning again. I love how fast this goes. Oh my god, look at us go. If we ever need more kelp, this apparently has lots and is not that far from home, only a thousand blocks, so this is very good to keep in mind. 
Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's go check this out. Maybe there will be some good loot. I hope there will be some good loot. <gasps> nice. That'll be fun for my uh, trading at home. Amazing. This was confusing. I think I only found one chest, but it could be that I'm missing something in that case. Too bad. We're so close to home. We're literally so close, but it's turning dark. And I'm scared I'm gonna die. Wait, oh, sheep. I can make a bed. Yes. Oh, our village! Wait, actually, even better. Thank God. That's literally like saving me right now, that village. Thank you, villagers. Wait, I think this is the same village that I have took villages, uh, villagers from. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I think that also means that we can... No! Uh, one point. Wait, 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 wait. Yay! Oh my god. We made it. We made it home. What a journey. Now that we're back home, hello. I want to go sort my stuff. Oh, hi, hubby. Hi, let's kiss. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Now that we're home, we should get rid of all of this and then get to building that farm. Okay, we need a few things for this build, I mean farm, I guess. I'm gonna need two chests, two. Alrighty. I'm going to need two water buckets, but I need to fill them, so let's not forget that. Then I will also need eight redstone dust. I also need a hopper, so I'm actually gonna have to make another chest. Okay, done. I'm going to need 16 of this, and then two of these. That's easy, easy. Then I need to make eight observers, like that. We have eight. Okay, I quickly muted sounds, like loads of sounds. I was literally going nuts. Okay, we need pistons. It needs to be eight pistons. What am I lacking? Oh, it's the cobble. I need some more cobble. Just grab a stack. Should be... Wait, Chlor. Oh, now I'm missing planks, all right. What about now? All right, I just need three more. There we go, we have all that. Then I need to make 22 slabs, so there we go. And then we need a stack and a half of this. Okay, now I gotta go, oopsie. Get that water, also place my door back. I was literally going crazy over it. My villagers going. So I took my door away for a second. <laughs> Let's fill these up, one, two. Wait, I actually just checked and the video I was following was bedrock only. I don't know if that'll work for me, so I just looked up another one. And that is actually like a huge farm that also creates dried kelp like it keeps on growing the kelp so I think I want to use that as well because well then I will never have to go looking for kelp anymore it is quite a big project so I'm gonna have to go look for a space to put that what if I clear some places out here you know we don't really ever come here so I feel like break that this is not too bad of a waste. Let's go home before a creeper blows me up though. <laughs> this requires me to get loads of glass though. And I think, yeah, all I have is this. So I'm gonna have to go get way more sand. I have some sand, but that's not enough at all. Okay, let's grab some sand. Wait, actually, hmm, I might be able to make a really small version of the farm that I saw on YouTube. I'm gonna try that. It might not work, but Let's hope, because I really don't want to have like this big, glassy chunk of a farm right here. I also need to make a smoker because I'm now using a different uh, little tutorial. And I think some other things of this might not be needed anymore as well. Okay, I'm going to clear this out a little bit more and then I think I'm ready to build. We start off our build with this smoker hopper chest system that will collect and smoke and store all of our kelp. Okay. This is what we have so far. I have to open all of these. And then after that, I'm gonna need way more wood. But yeah, after that I have to make like this entire platform, kelp with then like pistons and observers, and then that should be it, I believe. Okay, this is what we have now. Row of pistons, row of observers. 
that's the progress so far. Now I need to make a row here so we can add some of that redstone to activate these observers. Okay, done. I can actually close it off now, I think. But first, dinner time, and then we head off to bed. Because I do not want to be building out there at night because that is literally a recipe for disaster. Okay, I've walled this off completely and I think I can now add water. If I'm wrong, then well, sucks to be me. If I break it, you know, we could just go up, place our water. Oh, scared me. Last one. Wait. I lied. The sides. So that side also needs one more. Last one, actually. There we go. Now, I need to grab the kelp. Ah! Ah! Okay. Stop pushing me. And then add another layer, I believe. And then... Yeah, that works. Okay. That works. And I also get to break the sides. I don't know why I ever have to do the sides, but there we go. I think it works. Uh. Uh? I don't know if it's fully functional, but I, th I think that's it. Okay, so the problem is that this keeps on being launched off. So what I want to do is, you know, put some glass there or something doesn't break it but I'm scared that it's not growing anymore so I'll leave this like that and then I'll come to check in a bit if it actually works but where'd they go oh yeah I don't have any fuel hmm I'll go grab some fuel this looks so ugly I hope it's not like sensitive like our iron farm where I can just later up change this completely and like do some aesthetic stuff because that looks so so bad. Let's place some fuel in there and then that should be feeding into there and it's dried. Oh my god, nice. Now when do I get the XP though? I don't know how that works. Let me let me check that out real quick. Apparently I need a lever and then it'll like lock this. And then when I flick it, I can, uh, can grab the item or I don't know. Wait, I'm gonna grab a lever and we'll see. Lever acquired. Okay. Did that work? Well there's no kelp. Let's see. Huh? Hello? Why was that not working? I've stood here for a little bit and nothing grew. So like, is it because of these blocks or is it just random? So I'm gonna remove all of this to see if it makes a difference, but it could also very well be random. Okay, nothing grew overnight. Let's remove one more layer maybe. Okay. I also kind of want to know, what does this give me? I'm on nine? <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> and then you can use this to make like dried kelp block. That is a fuel source, right? I'm going to go check how good it is. Let's swap these out. Um, does it actually say? Oh, it smells 20 items. What does a coal do? Isn't that like eight? Yeah, eight. Ugh. That's good. Yep. This was at least a fuel farm. Wait, I think I see an issue. See how that's lower over there? I think I did something wrong. Um, okay, I'm gonna turn off the observers and then do the little thing that I was told in the YouTube video to place like multiple above and then I'll turn the observers on again. Let's see if that fixes our problem of this really not growing at all. All right. Ow. Okay, now let's break all of it. So this one completely. And those just like that. And now it should be good. It I hope. Place back our redstone. 
Okay, I'm gonna use the glass because he does use it in a tutorial as well. So let's just go for two rows of glass. That should not stop the growing at all because it doesn't for the tutorial person. So let's do it like this and then when I'm sure it works, I will decorate this nicely. But it kind of looks kind of cool, don't you think? Like imagine I make it cute. It could be something, right? I want to quickly add a cry for help in this video because every single time I do something with my waystone or like go into here to check my waypoints or something, my shaders break. So as you can see, look, look, you, you can tell, like the decoration of my house is just floating, the villagers are just floating. If anyone knows how to fix that, please, please tell me. Again, this is a cry for help because I literally have to close my entire game and load it back up to fix this every single time. Are you kidding me? I mean, at least it works, it means it works, but are you kidding me? Okay, this is what I have so far. I just added some spruce log stripped and then some redwood log also stripped to kind of create like a frame. But obviously this is so like boxy, so I'm gonna make use of like all sorts of things that I can to give it some detail out the back. I don't think I can like change the fact that it's a box, but I can at least make it look a bit better. So let's see what I can do. Okay, this is what I have so far. I don't know if I like it, but I do think it's already better. Maybe the leaves are a bit too much, but I don't know. It's better than how it looked before, I feel like. I think I'm going to use a system with stairs in the back as well. I've already placed some pillars, but this kind of looks, again, way too square. So I'm just going to fill this up with stairs and then at the top try to make something else work. I'm kind of curious to see if jungle stairs would fit in because right now I'm trying to make a pattern happen, I guess. That isn't as plain and boring, so... Uh, uh, I don't know what I feel about it. It's not great, but it's also not the worst thing in existence of mankind, so we'll settle for it. Now, all that's left to do is do the sides and the top. Okay, what if I make a little window? This will start flowing out. I'm not quick enough, so... Hmm, do I make it big or do I make it small? What do we think about this? And then I should probably... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I should probably make the window itself bigger. Like three by three. Hmm. I guess that looks okay-ish. Okay, other side done. I think it kind of looks okay-ish. Again. <laughs> okay, the top is just very simple and flat like that. Um, but I don't really know what else to do, to be honest. Alrighty, what do we think? Mm. I think something needs to go there. Maybe another one of those shroom lights. It's my last one. I'll put that in there then put some signs in between and then i'm calling it a day all right uh, hmm. it's all right it's okay we'll never be seeing the side anyways so this is what the entire kelp farm looks like right now um i think it's kind of cute i think it looks all right uh the main and important part is that it works we can go in here to claim our dried kelp and get some xp from it as well to get to the XP, we gotta go in here, quickly add it this, and just, you know, claim all of that. And we can also have it all be automated. Then you turn this off, and then we'll just get a dried kelp uh, instantly, but we will not be getting XP. And we'll also have to sometimes come in and, you know, add some fuel. Now, to fit, oh my god, he scared me. Now to finish it off, I want to make a little pathway to our XP farm. I think I'm just gonna, you know, draw it out from here. And yes, hubby, yes, you can also join me, I guess. Burn, burn, burn. Thank you, you leveled me up, how cute. Let's make this step up a little bit easier and nice and smooth. I want to add some flowers because, well, that just makes everything so much better in my opinion. Oh, stunning. Wait, I have one more rose. Maybe we put that there. I like it. Some grass and some moss. Can I put some 
some moss in those corners. What do I put instead of the crafting table? Maybe just some jungle leaves. Mm. Yeah, I think that looks really cute. Here we go, we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I had a lot of fun. I had never made a farm like this before. So thank you so much for, you know, sitting by my side while I did this. I hope to see you next episode and have a great day.